Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a carousel or a slideshow or basically anything that requires you to move one screen over to the side in a nice fashion and show something different. And I'll just show you the effect that we're going for here. So I have this screen with a 1. If I click it, it's going to go over to screen 2, screen 3, screen 4, and if I click screen 4 it's going to go back all the way back. And this is a very common pattern and I just want to show you how I, sh I achieve this effect because it might be a little bit different from what you're used to. And if I make this a mobile thing it still works because it's fully responsive because hey we are all responsive these days. So the way that it's made is that I've created this main tag and I've set the main tag to overflow hidden and a font size of 28 pixels so that the main tag it covers the whole page and then I have this list element or this unordered list here and the way that you achieve the transformation <coughs> or the transition is by simply saying transition transform 0 0.3 seconds and basically why I'm doing this is because if I remove that you see that it, it, there's no animation it just instantaneously changes the whole thing and that's not what I want I want there to be a transition so that it just is smooth little snapping or sliding thing basically and then we set a height of 100 because if we don't have that it's going to the, since there's basically no content we can't cover the whole page and then we do this thing with 400 percent so why are we doing that well because the width of the element is going to be a hundred percent in this scenario the ul is going to put by default just be a hundred percent of the viewport but that's a problem because we want each of these screens to cover the whole view so the way that we achieve that is actually to say that hey i want you as an element to be more than a hundred percent of the viewport and because we are using overflow hidden here that's not a problem if we didn't have it we would be able to scroll here to the side because the browser is going to give us this scroller instead but that's not what we want we want to hide everything so that we don't scroll into the sides cool and then we use display flex so that we can actually align all our items to the side so that they're all, all are all on one row and then we have these attributes here where we basically all we do is that we use justify content and align items in order to center our little number here in the middle we have and basically we just each list element is it has is its own flex box basically and then we have these data.js properties now what's going on there let's have a look at this and oh actually let's just touch on this comment as well so the way that the transform is done is use is by using translate 3d and as you can see here so when I want to show page number two I simply move on the x-axis that screen negative 25 percent and then I move if I want to go to screen three I simply move negative 50 percent and negative 75 percent and what I'm actually doing here we'll see this with the JavaScript in just a moment is that I I basically grab the list all of the elements and then I add an event listener to each of the elements. So when I click the first page, what I'm doing is that I am applying or I'm toggling the show to class on the list itself. So what's happening is that I'm actually sliding the whole list to the side. And when I'm done, I slide it all the way back. So mentally think about that. I'm not sliding the elements. I'm not moving these. I'm moving the whole list one screen over and then two screen over screens over and then three screens over and finally I go all the way back to to the end and that's what's happening down here so when I click the fourth screen I just remove all of these styles and then the whole thing slides back and this is how I achieve or rather that's this is the way that I like to achieve this effect of a carousel hopefully this was useful to you have a great day